Hi friends, welcome to Competitive Exams Material channel. In this video, we'll see how to compare two strings in Java without any built-in functions. Okay, without any built-in functions, we'll see how to compare two strings in Java. Okay, so let's try to understand the, I mean, logic behind that and we'll write the steps how to compare two strings and then we'll go to the code. So first, I mean, what is the problem? Suppose this is the string okay we are going to compare this is the string one string one equal to sandeep and this is the string two and this is also we are going to compare so how do we compare these two strings so first create two strings okay and then after creating the two strings what we need to do is iterate over the i mean first convert i mean extract each character of the string okay extract each character of this string and then compare with the second string okay so if this character and this character are equals return true otherwise return false okay so compare uh, each character in the string with the first in the, with the first string with the second string and then based on that return true or false let's write the program and see the output so write create a new class saying compare string demo and here write a main method okay i'm just taking two strings string str1 equals to sandeep and i'm taking one more string str2 is equals to Sandeep. Okay, now I have two strings with me. Now what I'm going to do is, so in order to compare each and every character in the first string with the second string, what I need to do? I need to get the character from the first string and then compare with the first character in the second string. Okay. So for that, what I'll be doing is take a for loop. For int i equal to 0 i less than str1 dot length okay str1 dot length i plus plus so first take for int i equal to 0 i less than str1 dot length i plus plus if str1 dot if str1 dot char at i not equals to str2 dot char at i okay so what this means we'll see first try to understand this uh, method as well as what we are doing here so when we say if str1 dot caret i not equals to str2 dot caret i means first caret method what is the purpose of this caret method so it returns the character value at the specified index okay an index ranges from 0 to length minus 1 the first character value of the sequence is at the index 0 and the next is at index 1 and so on as per array indexing Okay, if str1 dot char at i not equal to str2 dot char at i, okay, then we need to return false. I mean return false or directly what we can say is or we can take a boolean value. One second, boolean.
boolean is compare i am taking a variable called is compare by default it will be false okay so i will set this value of is compare to false otherwise i will set the value of is compare to true okay finally i will print the value of system dot out dot printl and is so i can say both the strings are equal okay first is what string 1 sandeep string 2 sandeep if str1 dot char at i not equal to str2 dot char at i is compare equal to false otherwise is compare equal to true so comparing each and every character in the first string with the second string by using this if so we are taking a boolean variable whether it is true or false by default we are setting it to false okay so if the character at i not equals to character at i is compare equal to false so let's run the program and see the output so if you see both the strings are equal true suppose what i will be doing is instead of sandeep what i'll be doing is i'm giving a b c d okay let's run the program and see the output exception in thread index out of bound range 7 ah uh, i less than string 1 dot length oh okay fine since the first string is greater than second string we are getting this so let's make two strings equal And if you see, both the strings are equal. So if str one dot char at i not equal to str two dot char at i is compare equal to false, break. Otherwise, is compare equal to true. So system dot out dot printl and both the strings are equal. So the only I mean why we got I mean here if you see a b c d here both the strings are not equal. But when we executed the program earlier, we got true. So why? Because so as soon as I mean, if at least one character in the string is not equal to other character in the string, just we need to break. Okay, just write this break statement. What is the purpose of this break? So it will come out of this complete loop. Let's debug this program and see the output. <clears throat> so first one for i equal to string 1 dot length what is the string 1 dot length 7 okay and then come to the next line str1 dot char at i so what is the char at i 0 why because index starts with the 0 and not equal to str2 dot char at i so first at str1 dot char at i is what a If you see a, so a not equal to s, a not equal to s. So what happens is compare equal to false. Break. When we do break, what happens is it will not execute this if as well as this for. It will come out of this. If you see here. So as soon as I executed, as soon as I write this statement, it came out of this is if as well as the for loop. and then it is printing both the strings are equal false okay both the strings are not equal that means assume that i mean since we got only one iteration right uh, let's change this uh, values so i am i am making it as a b c d and here i am making it as a b d So let's run the program and see the output. 
So for i int equal to 0, i less than str1 dot length i plus plus. If str1 dot char at i not equal to str2 dot char at i. So what is the str1 dot char at i? A. So A is not equal to A. str2 dot char at i is what? A. So what happens? This condition is not satisfying. Is compare will be true. If you see, each compare will be true. First two characters are same. Now let's come to the next loop. What is the next loop? It takes the second character. That means index at one. So it will compare B and B. So if str1 dot caret i is what? B. B not equal to B is what? False. This is B. And if you take str2, this is also B. So this is false. And then is compare will be true. Now, if you see right, the third character is third characters both are equal. No, if str1 dot char at i not equals to str2 dot char at i, is compare is what false. So c is not equal to d. It will it will satisfy this condition. Function f6 f6 is compare is false. I came out of this and system dot out dot both are equal is compare is false. Okay. So hope you understand this program how to compare uh, two strings in Java I mean without using any built in functions. Okay. Though we are using just str dot caret i we are not using any other functions like uh, string dot compare to method or like others we are just using the simple caret method which is the present in the string class. Hope you understand this video. Thanks for watching this video. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe and comment on my videos. Thank you.